I think I've seen it's been used for in most of my projects like two places. So we're going, going to go through how it's been used so from scratch. So I've just created a new team so then we can see the process how that goes. So just follow me through the journey. So this is just a new board I have created. So now let's start from beginning. So you got a new company already created and then you can create a new board. So let's say this is for manual testing. So let's say it's blue sky manual testing. And then you can create a board. So now, so you have the board here. So in a place, the people have different ways they are going to be using Trello. So and we're going to look into different ways. But I will uh, actually give you one of the process that I was used to. So the first thing that you have when you have is maybe backlog. You have backlog. So then in analysis, we put that in development or oh, before then ready for dev. Then this will be in development. Dev term. Or some people can call that ready for QA. Then in QA. QA then. Then this might be done done or or closed. So we have these different uh, stream lanes actually. So what you're going to have when you start a new story is going to be on your backlog. So every story, let's say we go to gifrid.com and then we're going to say let's do about home page. So, login, registration, wish list, community. Yeah, it's not loading anyway. So, then closing account. Then you have, yeah, let's just look into that one. So now you've got all your requirements that you want to, you want to test, or, but they are right now in your backlog, they, you don't have anything. So you continue putting all those requirements there until then we are ready. So what's going to happen, then the BA will take that into in analysis right so then it's going to now write everything in Gekin or in our format they prefer like uh, giving uh, um, on the give free home page Or if you're given I navigate.
Okay. All right. So this is this could be the requirements that you're going to be you're going to get for the home page. So um then they're going to go into the login also. Drag the login. So and you can move the login to the instead of backlog, so it's gonna be analysis. So initially as you can see what I did before was to drag the home page into the, into this in analysis but you can also change it from where for instance if you go in there and you can change it from there so this is now in analysis and you can move that so let's say now our registration so given I uh, am um, on or let's say we use the same concept and uh, navigate So Okay, let's make it a level when I So that is that. So let's say now, so what's going to do, this is a requirement also. So as a tester, so you, you have these three requirements. Let's leave it with that. So let's go with this one also, given
So this is going to be the the first one is the valid login, and the next one is the invalid login. So this one is a valid one, and this one's going to be an invalid one. So when you enter invalid username and you enter any password, then you click on login, then you should not be logged in. So you can have other one also. Oh, sorry, scenario. You can have other one also given um, valid username and invalid password. There are other things. So as you can see from our techniques that we've done, which is the equivalent partitioning. So we are partitioning our test cases into different parts. So you can see that, so, yeah. So, so these are our scenarios, so then we can write our asset rank criteria. So in, in some cases, some business analysts will write in this form as a user of key phrase I want to log in so that I can perform some activities so they will write something that's your uh, requirement and this will be the acceptance criteria So the assessment criteria, sometimes the BA might write it for you, or in some cases you might also have to write it together. But that's on the if they've written something like this in this approach, like like a process where you should follow, then you can work that out to work in this. But some of them, some BAs will just write in this approach, which I think is is best. So. Okay, so now let's go back to there. So after the BA has finished or you've reviewed it, you can move it to ready for uh, development. So it's now ready for development. Let's say this is not ready. You have to do re lo uh, registration. So uh, let's say we do login and registration. So then developers start, so and they move it in John, maybe John is the one that is doing that, James is doing this, and James moved the login, so John is doing registration. So then when they finish, that's a bug. Okay, let's see. 